Hey there, are you a single virgin weeb? Well, of course you are. After all, you are watching a video about Rent-A-Girlfriend. Anyways, today we will be doing an in-depth character analysis on Best Girl. No, not Ruka, get that trash out of here. I'm of course talking about Chizuru Ichinose. Chizuru is introduced at the beginning of the series as a rental girlfriend for our main protagonist, Kazuya, who tries out the rental service after being dumped. She's depicted as a beautiful young woman with no flaws on a surface level, but as we all know, things are never as they seem, but we will get to that later, don't worry. She's originally meant as a means for Kazuya to get over his breakup, but ends up being introduced to his grandmother, who instantly falls for Chizuru as Kazuya's girlfriend, because of course she would. And so Kazuya rents her one more time, and turns out both Chizuru and Kazuya's grandmothers know one another, and thus the lie of them being together just keeps going on and on and perpetuated. Just watch the show, or read the manga, it's good, I swear. She's portrayed early on as the pinnacle of female performance. She is athletic, kind, hardworking, and smart. You may not like it, but this right here, this is peak female performance. But as we later learn, she is actually a truly flawed character at her core, but why is that? Now from here on out there will be manga spoilers, be on what season one of the anime is covered, so if you don't want to be spoiled, leave now, or don't, I'm not your mom. Anyways, let's start early on with her childhood. She grew up with her grandparents as her parents passed away when she was a child. Throughout her childhood, she had an obsession with movies and TV shows and grew to admire the actors and actresses who were in the things she watched. And she soon found out her grandma had at one point even been an actress, and this is when Chizuru decides to be an actress. And before she even began acting school after high school, her grandfather passed away, but not before asking a favor of Sayori, Chizuru's grandmother. But we'll get to that, don't worry. Just keep that in mind. Chizuru is broken after the loss of yet another loved one in her life and begins to push everything except her goal of way of being an actress. All she cares for now is her grandmother to see her become an excellent actress, but also possibly fill a void she has in her heart. That's being a rental girlfriend, obviously. Well, that's the name of the show. Thus she meets Kazuya, and now they are in a web of lies and confusion. So why I say she fills a void using her job is because as stated earlier, she pushed everything away to pursue her dream. So she uses her job as a way to have pseudo relationships without the risk of rejection and commitment and loss, as she is, she's terrified of those things. She put her dream so far ahead it became somewhat of a burden for her, and this is even asked by her grandmother in chapter 146, as this is the favor her grandfather asked her to ask. And she says, Isn't following your dreams just making you suffer? This sense of obligation you have towards your grandfather and me, aren't you overdoing it? Chizuru of course denies these claims to her grandmother, but the expression on her face shows deep down that she might be right. Now don't get me wrong, it isn't as if Chizuru hates acting and she's been doing it just to pursue this idea of being the perfect granddaughter. She truly loves it, but she never thought about herself beyond her acting career, and she never thought about her well-being and her true happiness. This is the wall she put up, and the one she has been tearing down while going through self-reflection of her flaws throughout the entire series. This is seen when she goes to lunch with Kazuya in chapter 173, where she admits she no longer has a deadline and can take it a bit easier now that her grandmother is gone, as her grandmother saw her in a movie that Kazuya helped her make. Now there's actually a second part to this lunch where she asks Kazuya if he likes her. She knows internally deep down but wants to hear it, but stops him before she, he can answer, as she is scared to hear the answer as well. And this is shown two more times. Once outside their apartment complex, later that same day, and again when she runs to the bathroom admits her, his attempted confession to her. But why does she do that? Why does she run? Simple. She's scared of what if he leaves her in a way the rest of her family did? Or what if his ex-girlfriend said she still had feelings for Kazuya? Would he leave her for her? Well the readers such as us filthy weeps know he would never. But she doesn't know that for sure and is scared of that possibility. So to avoid that in her own mind when asked in chapter 208 by Kazuya's ex-girlfriend Mami. If Chizuru likes him, she says he's but a client, as she is scared to open more of herself and result in her getting hurt, so she built an emotional wall behind the guise of a rental girlfriend, where she can't do extra stuff like go to lunch with him without thinking how her clients might feel, or go to lunch without an appointment, or a rental time. But she has begun to tear down this wall, as seen in a recent chapter where she said to Kazuya, you said I'm perfect just the way I am, so I don't have to watch how I act all the time either. This is her clearly progressing in her thoughts, and not just Kazuya, but herself. Chizuru is simply put, flawed, but she's written in a way to make her seem like a genuine person you could meet one day. Her fears validate her thoughts, 
and when you see it from her perspective, she really has the most to lose in this whole series. She has no more family, not many great friends. Many people say that if she just let Kazuya confess to her, all the problems they have would be gone. And that's not necessarily true, but regardless, it doesn't fit in with the themes of Chizuru's character. Her character is about showing the flaws in what seems to be a perfect person, and building past those with the help of others. Chizuru is an intentionally flawed character at a fundamental level. She is wonderfully written, and from her perspective, her actions are beyond justifiable. She is a normal person with fears and worries. She has lost so much and doesn't have much left, but she wants to hold on to it. Many people say she's unreasonable, but I disagree and say that she's quite reasonable in her actions considering her fears and worries in the world. Well, until like 11 more chapters come out, and this entire video essay is obsolete and I cry myself to sleep. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, maybe like and subscribe, be pretty cool.